Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new Rojas cigar. This is the Street Tacos Barbacoa. And how about that little guy right there? Is he not cool looking? <laughs> I love it. This is the Short Corona, five and a half by 46. And there is your closed foot density. Now this is a cuisine themed uh, cigar. Barbacoa would eventually become what we know as barbecue. Uh, it, the name comes from a meat preparation that traces its roots back to the Caribbean and Mexico, and in particular, sheep and goat cooked over an open fire or via an in-ground oven. Sound a little bit like a barbecue. That's where the name comes from. It's a Sumatra wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and filler from the Somoto region. Also comes in a 6x50 Toro. Price around $8 or $9 per cigar and made in the Tabacalera Flor de San Luis in Esteli, Nicaragua. Now, this is the first of three reported uh, cigars in this series so uh, there's some more to come so that is pretty much the long and the short of it the intro gave you a lot of information go to the blog you can get more but let's get right to it the new Rojas Street Tacos Barbacoa That's a nice size cigar, not too long, not too short, five and a half by 46. It's actually a very nice looking cigar. Has an average feel in the hand, but I do again love that little guy on the van. Absolutely love it. That's not bad, but I'm going to improve on it with the perfect draw. So let's just skip ahead. I'll be right back. Now, part of that could be from the closed foot, too. So I just wanted to be safe. Now we're ready. First initial flavors are a nice orange citrus. There's a quite a bit of brown sugar there and a very thick pasty nutmeg. There's a light amount of black coffee at the base, nice black pepper at about seven and a half. Very sweet, very sweet citrus start. And if this pans out like the others, we're gonna have a major change coming, but that is how you start and it is a good one. I'm only 10 minutes in, but we've already had our first change. The sweet orange citrus is morphing over to a peach. Still have all that nutmeg attached to it and quite a bit of brown sugar. Things are starting to happen. Well, we are here at first third. And the nutmeg is really in the play here. It's very pasty and dry, but there's a lot of the peach notes, a lot of brown sugar, quite a bit of nutmeg, and the black coffee base, which is an afterthought because you fixate on the first three things I told you about. Medium body. Finish has peach and nutmeg with very nice lingering black pepper. But the cigar is quite sweet and it, it, it really tastes good. Um, the, uh, the elevated nutmeg, we'll see what it does, but right now it doesn't hurt it too much because the first third I'm ready at 94. 
very good first third. So let's uh, play it out. See what we have in the second third. End of the second third. And I really like a sweet cigar. I don't eat candy, so I get my sweetness from good cigars. And this is a very good one. The peach is very sweet. The brown sugar is extremely sweet. And now there's infiltration of orange citrus with the peach. The nutmeg is there and it's thick, but it's not really in the way. You will notice it, but it is it can't take away from all that sweetness. It's just too much. And the black coffee base. The black pepper is still pretty good on the front end. Pretty good on the finish. The finish is unchanged. But boy, is this cigar sweet. It it uh It is, I mean, that's the only way I can tell you. It's very sweet. If you like that, if you're like me, you're going to really like this cigar. The middle section just sort of took another step. So I'm going 95. Folks, this is not a joke. This is a good cigar. 95 for the second, third, and uh, we've only got two inches left, a little less, really, by the time you actually hold it. But uh, not much left, so let's see how it plays out. down to the end so let's wrap it up i've really enjoyed this little cigar it's it's been so good in the final third i would say it it sort of dropped back like it was in the first third still very sweet a little more nutmeg but it's i love the flavors i'm not going to hurt it bad i'm going to drop it back to 94. finish is absolutely unchanged I'd call it medium body. But this is a good cigar. The pepper's good on both ends. It's sweet on both ends. The overall score is 94.33. Really good. Now for the bad news. After having several of these, I went online to try. I bought a five pack, as I typically do when I review cigars, and I was looking online for more and they don't exist i can't find them anywhere so i contacted rojas cigars yesterday last night and last night they responded with this we're going to start shipping tomorrow more that means today we got a small batch to start replenishing the back orders, and there is another bigger shipment coming this week. So that, to me, is good news, because I'll be looking for these. And uh, I'm also curious as to what the Toro would be like. I may get some of both of these, but this is a very good cigar, and I suggest if you can, try it. If you know where I can find them, let me know. But that'll do it. The Rojas Street Tacos Barbacoa Short Corona. 94.33.